Okay, this is what we're doing. Iced fairy cakes. Yeah. So you need a pen and some paper because you will need to write down these ingredients. So what you will need is soft margarine. So any type of baking margarine or anything. You'll need caster sugar, eggs, You'll need self-raising flour, you'll need baking powder, you'll need icing sugar, any decorations, and warm water. Those are the items that you'll need. So, to make these, you'll need 4 ounces of soft margarine, 4 ounces of caster sugar, 2 eggs, 4 ounces of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and for the icing you'll need two to three tablespoons of warm water any amount of decorations or fancy sweets eight ounces of icing sugar okay so step number one what you need to do is you need to turn your oven to 200 degrees and if you're a gas oven you need to turn it to number six and yeah do that now Here's my oven, so yeah, it's amazing. Turn it to 200. Here. Next you need to get out, because this makes, this recipe makes about 18, possibly more buns. So you'll need two baking trays that hold, you'll need enough baking trays to fit 18 in. So I've got these ones, which has 12, and that one has 12. Next you need to get your ingredients out, so caster sugar. I have my silver spoon caster sugar here. Okay, so put that on the side. Then you need two eggs. I've got my eggs here. Okay, so then you need your icing sugar, I've got that. You need self raising flour, I've got that. Your water, I put out the tap. Um, um, then you need your baking powder. My baking powder. And then you need your fancy sweets to decorate. I'm gonna get them out later. Your bun cases, I've got them. Light multicolored one. There's my margarine. And then you need your sweets to decorate. I've got them right here. Okay, time to start baking. First you need to place 18 bun cases into your tins. So put them in. There's my 18 cases. Then need to get out a really large bowl. This is my really large bowl. And you need to put the main ingredients in which are soft margarine, caster sugar, two eggs, self-raising flour, baking powder. You need to bung all of that into the bowl. Just bung it in. So I'm going to start with... Oh wait, you may want to get your measurements right with one of these. So you set it to zero, like so, and then you put it flat on the ground, and then you pour in your self-raising flour until it gets to four ounces, which is where we need to be. One, two, three, four. Is it really? Okay. And that goes into the main bowl. Oh my god! Put it back. You're meant to sift the flour. Thank you. 
Okay, you need to sieve the flour. So like this, we're going to sieve it. So you pour it all in to the sieve and then you sieve your flour. So look how good that looks. And then what you need to do is take this off. Then you need to use your sugar and you need to pour it in until you get to four ounces. It's definitely caster and you do this until you get there. Four ounces. You have your sugar, you pour it in with the flour. You do not need to sip your sugar unless it's very lumpy. Okay, and next we need to do our eggs. For my eggs, once that is done, what you need to do, well, so on the side of the bowl, you crack your eggs. If there's any shell, you need to use your fork and scoop it out. Because people don't like shell in their eggs. Also, before everything, you're meant to wash your hands. So if you're wondering why I haven't done it on this video, I've already washed them. So that's main tip. You're also meant to wear an apron, but my gloves are really clean. This. Like, do we messed up stuff? So then what you do is you take your baking powder, obviously you open it, and oh... Then what you do is you get a teaspoon, like around here, not too heaped, and you pour it into the bowl. You then need four ounces of butter, mine's brand new, so basically using your measuring scales, so take the bowl off, you need to... Measure four ounces of butter. Get a spoon. Get a huge lump of butter, margarine, and plump it in. Keep doing this until you've got to four ounces. Do your main bowl. So it looks like that if you're wondering. Suddenly the scales seem to have gone up. After you've done that, it's ready to be mixed. I'm going to use an electric whisk. So you plug your electric whisk in. I think mine's broken. Oh, I put it the wrong way around. And with my whisk, I'm going to whisk it. Now what you need to do, after your whisk is plugged in, Until really, really creamy, pasty mixture. Like, your mixture should let like this, and then with these things, you can just lick them up. Mm. Now, what you need to do is with this mixture, you need to get a big spoon. Like this, tablespoon, and you need to spoon it into equally each bun piece. I've just made 18 only just, and then I'm going to lick this. So now they need to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 They're now in the oven, so now I just get to pass some time by putting my ingredients away, cleaning up, and licking 
been 15 minutes and we're done now. I'm going to ice. My first kiss went a little like this And twist And twist well, My first kiss went a little like this And twist And twist I said no more teachers